Starr. Hey, and Tim Starr. Starr they, <laughs> they, they, uh, is there anything you want to say? No, no. Yeah, I'm going to say something now. <laughs> so they, they came into the church a couple months ago. It was, uh, I'm not going to tell you all the details of our conversation, but it was like a uh, Grew up in church, didn't really know this much about this God thing, you know, and I just kind of want to know, I want to learn and get to know this this whole God. Like, I don't know, just fresh, just fresh. And so I talked to him on the phone the other day, and he's like, not only do I understand now, but I'm feeling it, you know, and I'm feeling something. And so um, we want to get saved. <clears throat> so it was incredible. Got to talk, to share the gospel with him um, over the phone. He had been here on Wednesday night and saw the clear gospel message by Pastor James on the screen on vertical. And it's just like, I, I got no excuses anymore, I know. <laughs> he told me. So I want, to, I want to get saved and I want to be baptized. And so both of them. And so that's why we're here this morning to do that. So yeah. it's awesome. awesome. Would you pray with me for a yes. time? Awesome. Can you start? <clears throat> Ready to do this? Yes. All right. He's letting you know that he's uh, no longer the boss of his life. He's letting Jesus know that. He's letting you know that, that he's not your brother. And uh, that means he wants you in his life. He wants you to uh, pray for him. He wants you to uh, correct him gently if you see something that's not biblical. He wants you to encourage him when you see something that is. He wants you to love him, and he wants to love you. And the same thing for his wife, same thing. And so that's what this is all about. Um, Father, I thank you for Tim. I thank you um, that you brought a brother down from New England for me. Thank you for that. Someone who knows how to talk right. <laughs> I thank you for his heart. Uh, just a genuine pursuit of the real thing, of the authentic. And uh, it seems like you and he have met. And uh, we rejoice in that. And so, Lord, I'm, I'm thankful for him. I'm thankful for Star. I'm thankful that you've chosen Revolution Church to bring them to, to this place. Lots of churches in this world, Lord. But you made a selection. And you place people in the body as it pleases you. And uh, so not only does it please you, but it pleases us that you've chosen this church. Lord, we would ask that you would bless this man. You would continue to pour out your spirit into him. You'd continue to pour out wisdom into him, understanding of the scriptures, understanding of the one who authored it. Um, I pray for a deeper relationship uh, with him and you and, and with his church family. And Lord, I just pray that you'd use this man. He's, he's a bold guy. Like he's a, he's a tough guy, man. He's, he's not afraid of anything. And so Lord, I, I just, I kind of think of the, of the apostle Paul, just a tough guy, get out there and get his hands dirty and spread the good news of the gospel. And so, Lord, I pray that you do the same thing with this man. Help him to be bold and to share what you've done in his life with many others. I pray that you'd help him to lead his wife in the ways of God and uh, to live as a godly example before everyone here in the community. I thank you for him, Lord. I pray your great blessing upon him. And as I've often said, Lord, I pray that you would use um, your God abilities that are beyond what we can do to somehow uh, burn this moment into his mind forever so that uh, as temptation comes his way that he would remember this moment and run from temptation and run into your loving arms i thank you for that in jesus name amen, amen. so who's your lord and savior tim oh, jesus christ jesus christ and based on that confession I now bury you with Christ, and like Him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. It's a little slippery on the cement, so be careful. All right, don't go anywhere though. Come on, Star. We can just sit in here for the rest of the service if you want. So it feels good. I'm gonna hug you know what I'm saying? Feels good. It's like a, it's like a resort over here. Goodness. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Well. 
Um, I said what I've said about uh, Tim and Star, and so kind of the two became one. So when he came in, she came in as well. Same kind of a thing. Just really wants to get to know the Lord, like the real deal. And so we've had the privilege of being the church where they could meet the Lord Jesus um, and begin a relationship with Him. And so we're privileged that you are, are here. Um, Star works for Livestream here locally where they minister to the most broken. And so that's her heart to do that. And it was because of her that we brought in all that clothing Thank um, you. For, the, for all the people there at, at Livestream that come out of jail and come out of the hospital with nothing except a hospital robe, that's pretty embarrassing, right? So imagine if that was your only thing in the closet. So um, it was her heart to help those people. She passed it on to us, and you guys responded insanely. It was a mountain of clothing, and so thank you for that. But this, that's the heart of Star, and uh, so we're thankful that you're here. We need some loving people in our church, you know? And so you are, and we're thankful for that. So let's pray for Star as well, please. Um, Father, we thank you uh, for this woman of God. We thank you, Lord, just like I said with Tim, we thank you, Lord, that you have chosen Revolution Church uh, as the place where you and Star could meet and fall in love with one another. I thank you for that. I thank you for her heart to serve people. It's uh, exemplary for the rest of our community, and I thank you for that example that she sets for us all. I thank you for the softness of her heart toward you, Lord, to receive you. I thank you, Lord, that she is now part of our family. I thank you, Lord, that you are going to use her, even where she works, where there's so many hurting and broken people. They need the gospel, Lord. And so, Lord, you've placed her not only in this church so that she could worship you, but you've placed her at live stream where she could take that which she gains here and deliver it to there. So I thank you, Lord, for that. I thank you that you're going to give her great opportunities to share the good news of Jesus with the most hurting and broken people in our community. I pray that she would be a shining light there, a, a person of hope, a person of love, a person of Jesus there at Lifestream. Lord, I pray that you'd help her to submit to her husband as unto the Lord in all things, and that their family, their home, would be Christ-centered at all times, and that, that that home would be a place where Jesus is exalted, loved, and worshipped. I thank you for her. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Star, who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Based on that confession, we now bury you with Christ. And like him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.